Daily Dosers, it's Kristen from the Fallbrook campus. And obviously 2020 has not been ideal for any of us. We all know that, but there's one thing I am excited about, about 2020, because I have finally reached a goal that I have had since I guess I was in like junior high. And that was to read this entire book cover to cover every word, every verse. And I've wanted to do that for years. And some of you are like, I do that every year. I read through the Bible. Well, good for you. Now I'm in the club because there are some parts in here that were really hard to get through. And that's probably why I'm about 20 years late on my goal to read the entire Bible. And so I should be finishing up at the end of this week. And I am so excited to say that I finally did it. And 2020, the book that probably stood out the most for me in the Bible was the book of Ecclesiastes. And I really, really connected with that book this year. And it's written by King Solomon, who you'll remember is said to be the wisest man who ever lived. And the cool thing about Ecclesiastes, how it lines up with this series on hindsight, is that Ecclesiastes was written at the end of Solomon's life as he looks back and reflects over his life. And he gives us the best advice that he has on how to live the best life. And it's categorized as wisdom literature in the Bible, but it sometimes gets a little bit of a bad rap. And some Christians even think like it's the testimony of a person living apart from God altogether. Or I've heard people say, well, it's just Solomon on a bad day, like he's just venting. And the reason they say that is because it does come across as a little bit cynical and maybe even a little dark at times because in Ecclesiastes, you'll hear over and over again, he says, well, we're born and then a bunch of random stuff happens to us that we can't control. And maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, who really knows? And it's all confusing. And then eventually we die and nobody even remembers that we ever lived and time marches on. <laughs> and it's kind of like, oh, Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> but if you take a closer look into this book of wisdom, as it's called, the book of Ecclesiastes has so much to offer us. And I think I really connected with it, especially this year, is because Solomon, after looking back on a life where he tried everything um, to find satisfaction, there are seasons in his life where he really walked away from God. And now he's reflecting back on every season, the good and the bad and saying, here's what I want you to know. Um, it's his hindsight for his life that he's giving to us. And he basically says, life is vanity. And you'll hear that over and over again. Life is meaningless. And again, that sounds a little bit like, wait, what? But basically what he's saying is, a life apart from God and without a right relationship with God, it's meaningless. Um, the word there is hevel, H-E-V-E-L. And it's a Greek, a Greek word that just means like smoke. It's confusion, it's disorientation, it's here and then it's gone. And that's what he says our life is like. And he says life is only meaningless when it's apart from God. So his big advice for us as he looks back is to say, fear God and keep his commandments. And that's kind of the bottom line. But then I love what he does and gives us this practical advice, this call uh, to simply enjoy our lives and to find peace and freedom and just enjoyment of the simple things and to not forget about the simple pleasures that God's given us. He says, enjoy a good meal with a friend, enjoy a great conversation with people you care about, enjoy the sun on your face, enjoy the work that God has given you to do. And as a guy looking back, he says, and then there's a bunch of stupid stuff and just let it go. There might be things that people have said about you that hurt. Let it go. There might be unresolved anger. Let it go. There might be uh, things that you just can't control. And he pushes us to accept the good and the bad from life and to hold every day with an open hand because really we can't control anything except for one thing, which is our attitude toward life. And so he says, open your hand, take what life has to offer and what you can't control, let it go to God, and then just enjoy the simplicity of life. 
because Solomon had it all. He had wealth, he had possessions, he had popularity, he had everything. And he said, nothing satisfies except for a right relationship with God. And the best things in life are the simple things in life. So don't miss what's right in front of you because on this earth, all we have is what is present. All we have is what is now. So the challenge for me through 2020 and the same hindsight that Solomon has is for me to stop and say, I don't wanna miss it. I don't wanna miss what's right in front of me, the great gifts that God has given me. I wanna be mindful of the gifts that he's given me every day and not miss a thing because all I have is here and now, and my future belongs to the Lord and he'll take care of it. And I love what Larry always says, do your best, then take a nap. I'm striving for a little less striving and a lot more enjoyment this year.